Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode on More Motivations YouTube channel. So excited that y'all came back. Y'all keep coming back. So if you keep coming back, make sure you subscribe. Okay, subscribe. I'm gonna give you five seconds. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment, do that now. All right. So, I'm done being annoying. Let's get into today's topic. You know, I got to put my hair to the side because y'all, I still don't know how to act now that I got some sort of hair. <laughs> so, today's topic is for my mid 20s to late 20s to early 30 year olds. My, you know, my lit millennials, you know, not the young, young baby millennials, like my lit millennials, the, my 90s babies, you know, this is dedicated to you. So I was just like having some self-reflection. And I know my last video, I was telling you guys how I'm just not okay. And life has been a lot lately. And I've just been wearing a lot of unnecessary weight. And so I was thinking to myself, if is some of this weight attributed to the fact that I'm almost about to be 30? Am I putting unnecessary pressure on myself because I'm growing older and I'm like wanting to check things off before I get to the big 30? Does anybody like relate to that feeling? Comment below if you relate to this. But lately, I just feel like once I really analyze it, that I've been just trying to like overwhelm myself with all of these things that I want to get checked off before 30. Mind you, I'm a Pisces baby, March 18th. So my birthday just passed not too long ago. But now that I'm in my last year of my 20s, I just feel like I'm like my head is overwhelmed by all of these things that I want to do, what I want to get accomplished. First thing is the biggest thing that I've been thinking about this year is getting my own house. Now, for the people who don't know me, I still live with my parents, which I'm not ashamed of. There's nothing wrong with living with your parents, especially if it's about saving money. It's not that I can't afford to stay on my own. I've just chosen to stay with my parents to save money. And they've been such a blessing to me. Shout out to the Moors. Um, so, for me, it's just been this crazy whirlwind of I want to get my first house I've been living with my parents long enough you know and I want to get my I want to live on my own before I get married you know I want to at least know what it feels like to completely be by myself no roommates no boyfriend no fiance no none of that I just want to be by myself you feel me I want to experience what that's like. So I feel like lately I've been just been putting pressure on my brain that, oh my gosh, my savings account needs to be this. I need to have this down payment ready. And oh my God, I need to invest. And I'm like thinking about all of these things that I want to get accomplished before 2020 ends. And it's almost like taking away from the natural organic flow of how life works. You feel me? So I had to like calm myself down and say, Kendra, you're doing a lot now that you weren't doing at 25, at 24, at 23. You know, you're in a way better place. You're wiser, you're stronger. All the BS you've gone through in your past has gotten you to where you are now. Stop putting unnecessary pressure on yourself about where you need to be by 30. Because guess who you're trying to impress? people you're trying to somehow set yourself up to have this amazing instagram post or facebook post just to tell everybody how i was able to do this and oh my gosh i and then you're ready to tell that age in your bio or in your caption about how you know you've done all of this and you're only 29 or you're only 30 and I realized that's really why we put pressure on ourselves because we are literally trying to please this audience that we created for ourselves, right? And we're trying to please them as much as we as much as possible. And it's overwhelming. It's actually very toxic because let's be real, guys. God's timing doesn't look like what society has told us what 30 should look like or what 29 should look like. Or what any late 20s or early 30s should look like. 
God's timing doesn't look like that. God's timing, you know, is not that there's a specific age where you need to be a mom. God's timing is not that there's a specific age where you need to be married. God's timing does not represent that there's a specific age where you need to have your own house. Everything is totally organic and specific to your journey. So that's the era that a lot of us as millennials are in is that we're watching people constantly on our timelines. And yes, social media is a great tool, but it's, it's literally a mental burden if we allow it to be because we're constantly watching others, people we went to college with, people we went to high school with. We're constantly watching them and saying, man, they're doing all of this because guess that's what they're choosing to share with you. Boop. And it's like, oh, I don't really have any of these amazing things to post. And I don't feel like my life is that great. And I'm almost 30 and I just feel stuck. I know y'all feel stuck. There's a lot of us that feel stuck. But realize that that's okay. The first step into really wanting to like completely step into your purpose is realizing that it doesn't look like anybody else's journey. Is that as much as we watch other people, we take notes, you know, we we look at them and, you know, we, we want to somewhat follow their journey because it'll help us on our own journey. That's all great. But at the end of the day, you have to fully step into the fact that your journey will never look like everybody's on your timeline. And you're not supposed to be the the mom, you know, when they became a mom. And you're not meant to be the dad when they became a dad. And you're not meant to have the car because they have that car. You're not meant to have the testimony that they have. Stop trying to literally mimic people who ain't paying your bills, who are not adding a single day to your life who are not the author and the finisher of your life. And that's Jesus Christ. And so for me, I was analyzing that I was putting way too much pressure on myself. It was almost to the point where it's like I was just overwhelming myself and it was creating unnecessary anxiety, right? It was creating unnecessary stress that I shouldn't be having because I'm exactly where God wants me to be. Even in my mess, even in my craziness, even in my immaturity at times, I'm exactly where he wants me to be. Because as long as I'm allowing myself to be open, to be a vessel for him to use me, I'm exactly where I need to be. And I don't need to sit in the shame of I have all these failed relationships and I'm not doing this right now. And I don't have this career. My bank account don't look like this. It's like I literally I can't sit in that. I got to sit in the fact that God has me exactly where he wants me in order to use me for his glory as well as for the purpose that he already has set for me the minute I was born. So if there's anybody watching this, you're 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and you're just like, man, why am I not doing all of these things? It's because society has taught you or created in your mind that these things need to be checked off. And I'm challenging you today to put down your checklist, step into the awareness and the purpose that God has already placed over your life and realize that there's no reason why you need to rush his timing so you can please this audience that you created for yourself is that God should truly be the only person that you should be going out of your way to impress. And I'm sure a lot of us have that feeling like, why am I still alive? Why am I still here? But that's literally God reminding you that your work is not done. That the purpose, your purpose on the earth is not complete. And I will consistently push you. And I will move you wherever I need to move you in order to fulfill and empty out the purpose that's inside of you. Because that's a lot of us are very full right now. We're full of dreams. We're full of hopes. We're full of all of these visions in our brains. But they are so ready to come outside of us, right? And reach different 
arenas, different rooms, different audiences that literally have never heard our story because our story is still being played out. God has not created you to be lazy. He has not created you to fail. He has not created you to literally compare yourself to other people and where they are. He's created you to truly love you as well as love exactly where he's placed you, where he's planted you. God has planted you at a specific location in a specific state and a specific country to thrive. I would rather celebrate another woman in the season that they're in so that I'm not focusing on why I don't have what they have. I'm just focusing on the fact that I'm glad that they're doing what they're doing. And I want to celebrate them. I think we, we, we need to come into an awakening where women are excited to celebrate other women. And they don't need to be envious. They don't need to be jealous. They don't need to be questioning their own selves. They need to be completely happy for where other people are in in their season. Because if we have more people in this world being happy for people, literally, we'll be exactly where we need to be in this world. Because there will be so much more support. There will be less competition and just more support. I know I'm all over the place right now, but I'm just challenging you to take away the expectations. Don't let society tell you where you need to be at by 30. Like, my goal is to have my first house by next year. But if that doesn't happen, it's okay. Guess what? I have more opportunity to save more money. I'll be having invested more at that time. I'll be in a position to where I can like almost be able to handle what it is that I'm asking God for. Because a lot of us were praying for so many things that we're really not ready for because we haven't matured. Our thinking hasn't transformed. And we haven't even, we don't even understand the magnitude of what we're praying for, but we're ready to rush to the next season and the next season. And we're not really enjoying exactly where we are planted. So if this video blessed you, make sure you share it. Make sure you tell your loved ones, anybody who feels stuck, share this video with them. Let them know that they're not alone. If you're watching this and you feel stuck, you're not alone. If you literally are overwhelming yourself with all of these things that you feel like you should have had done by now, stop doing the pity party. That's not going to work. The past is the past. The present is a present, okay? And really bask in it. Enjoy it. Find peace in your season. As much chaos is going on in this world, find peace in it because you have all the power to change the narrative. What's meant for you will not miss you. And what missed you was never meant for you. And that's the mantra that I live by. And on that note, I'm out, guys. And I love you. Follow me on Instagram at More Motivation. Let me know what you thought about this. Follow my podcast at Fill the Cup. And let's just enjoy whatever age we're at. Let's stop beating ourselves up. And let's step into the full purpose that God has us at. Because our stories are legendary. They're meant to break barriers. They're meant to change the culture. They're meant to literally do the opposite of whatever society has told us that we should be doing. I like where I'm at. It's a hot mess sometimes, but I like exactly where I'm at. And it's not supposed to look like anybody else's. It's just not. It's not supposed to look like anybody else's life. I hope you love this video. I love you guys. I'm growing as a YouTuber, so y'all just bear with me and my random rants.